Our goal today is to show you the appropriate way to use the system to connect the cup to the stem uh, so that the overall strength of the device uh, is as designed. The different aspects of, the, uh, of putting this all together include, of course, the stem itself and the universe reverse cup. We also have the alignment guides, which are made for each of the various sizes. So the 36 millimeter, the 39 millimeter, and the 42 millimeter. We also have the short screwdriver with the T15 tip to it, which matches up with the screw inside of the cup. We have a torque indicating adapter in which the screwdriver goes into so that we can properly uh, create the amount of torque necessary to have this well fixed with the locking screws and of course the handle. And then finally, to hold this in place so that the surgeon uh, doesn't have to do this in free space, we also have the assembly stand, which can be connected to one of the trays in the back, which helps hold the stem while you're fixing the cup uh, securely onto the stem. So now we're ready to put our cup into our stem and fix that properly. In preparation for that, we'll go ahead and put our screwdriver together with a quick couple that you see here. You also see that it has the torque measurements on the torque limiting section of this device and our plan is not to exceed the five newton meters of force and then we'll put that onto the handle that will allow that to easily uh, be used by the surgeon and then we're all set up with our screwdriver we'll take our cup and this is a 39 cup so we'll select the 39 guide and you can set this in by hand but oftentimes it's much easier to take a simple clamp and hold this together and it snaps in very nicely and holds that in place so it's nice and secure and holds it in the right position. This guide will make sure that our screwdriver goes down in the proper alignment. Now that we're ready to place the cup into the stem, we'd like to have the stem held very securely. So we have an assembly stand that we can actually put on the tray. This just goes right over the edge of the tray. It has a little groove in it and sits towards the end of the tray and it's securely into position. And as you can see, it has different slots available depending on the size of the stem. The stem that we're going to affix the cup to is a size 10 stem. So we'll choose the center slot and place that into position. Once it's down and secure, we can then tighten the screw and this holds it very securely into place. We'll then take our cup, which has our guide already inserted into the cup, and we'll place that in the proper position with regards to the stem. This stem will allow the implant cup inclination to vary between a 135 and a 155. The most commonly used alignment is the 135 and therefore will demonstrate the way to properly fix the cup in the position of a 135. Now to do that, let me first show you by taking this back out of the stand that you can see the angle of inclination is here and then on the back of the cup we have measurements here, we have the markings here for the 155 and the 135. And so to put this in the proper alignment, this flange would go into the position of the 155 in this manner if that was the inclination that we desired. As I mentioned, the most commonly used inclination is a 135, and so that's what we're going to demonstrate. That's what it should look like visually, and you can confirm that by looking on the back and seeing that it's in the groove for the 135. Once we have the cup placed at the proper inclination, um, in this demonstration at 135 degrees of inclination, and the guide is also secured to the cup, we can then insert our screwdriver in through the slot and down into the screw. Now, this cup is offset to the right 
And so you'll see there's a gap on the left-hand side. If it was offset to the left, there would be a gap on the right side. If there was no offset and centered, then the screwdriver would be right down the middle. The oval shape accommodates all three of those variations with regards to offset on the cup. Once we get resistance, we'll then pay close attention to our torque limiting guide. We do not want to exceed five Newton meters of force. So here we are at two, here's three, and know that the screw is secure and the cup is now secured to the stem in the proper alignment as it was designed. Once we achieve the proper torque and tightening of the screw, we can then loosen the stand, take the stem out, and we can carefully check to ensure we've accomplished our goal, which is to have the flange properly seated in the groove for the 135 degree inclination. So we see that that's set up very nicely and secure into position. And we'll take out our guide and look carefully at this. And now it's very secure and ready to be implanted in the patient.